you feel alive watching films. You like it, you feel happy, you don't like it, you feel depressed. Welkom bij de 68e editie van het Festival du Film in Cannes. Nog steeds, en met ruime voorsprong, het belangrijkste filmfestival ter wereld. Met dit jaar nieuw werk van opwindende regisseurs als Paolo Sorrentino, Yash Janquet en Gas van Zendt. Om maar een paar te noemen. De selectie van alle films is hier al 15 jaar in handen van één man. Artistiek directeur Thierry Fremo. The Cannes Festival is a bit like wine. You have very good years and you have less good years. Never. More good years. <laughs> 2015, what do you think it will be? Well, I don't know yet. I think that uh, we will know that uh, the last day. But you've seen And everything, right? I've seen everything, but I, I can't. Of course, I love every movie we picked up, but uh, I, I can't talk for the rest of the world. And it's not even enough to, 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 make, uh, to make an analysis after 12 days of festival. The best. The best moment is in one year. The best moment is in February, at the moment of the Academy, uh, 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 César, and all this uh, stuff. It is the most important festival. Do you feel pressure to keep it that way? No, because um, it is the most important <laughs> film festival for sure, but we never think about that. And, uh, I don't want to think about that. I don't have to think about that because uh, if you wake up in the morning saying, well, you know what? I'm managing the most important film festival in the world. You're dead. So it's better to, to go ahead and, and uh, to go back on the road every year, not thinking about the fact that you are the best film festival in the world, but about to make the best film festival you can. Two films didn't reach the level, two Dutch films, two hopefuls, like uh, uh, Schneider vs. Bax by uh, Alex van Warmerdam and David Verbeek's Full Contact. We had some hopes there. Did they come close? I, I can't uh, give you an answer about that because uh, we talk only about the film we have and not the film we, we, we didn't pick up. And that film, especially. Uh, 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 Alex is a wonderful director, a great director, and he made a very strong impression two years ago. And, uh, but we made, my usual answer is, we made other choices. We have seen in total 1854 movies. That's humanly possible. Yeah, I'm not alone. Ah. I'm not alone. And myself, I, I watch every year 700, 600, 700 films. How do you prepare for two weeks of insanity, you yourself? Well, no, no alcohol, no coffee, no uh, big sleep before. And uh, you need to love your, to love humanity. Humanity? Humanity, humanity. You All mean, of humanity. The humanity of Cannes. Ah. 19 films dingen dit jaar mee naar de hoofdprijs. Die felbegeerde gouden palm. En wie die palm wint, bepaalt een jury. Die dit jaar niet geleid wordt door een man of door een vrouw, maar door twee mannen. De broertjes Joel en Ethan Cohn, Die hier al negen keer eerder waren als regisseurs. Van klassiekers als Bart en Fink, Fargo en No Country for Old Men. When you were invited to come to Cannes and be on the jury, what was your reaction? Speaking for myself, it was yay. I mean, we had, this was a call from Thierry and, and it was just a great, great timing because we weren't in production on a movie. We didn't have a movie that was, we were hoping to, you know, submit to the festival to be screened. And, um, and it was an opportunity to come to the festival and actually be able to watch movies, which is, not been our experience before here ever. Ethan? Uh, yes, that. <laughs> but I was waiting to get thinner, to get into my old suits. And uh, now I have no hope, so I decided to <laughs> I would have to buy some suits and, and come over. I'm just 
was thrilled to think about seeing films before everyone else in the world will see them. You know, um, I think that there's... And for free. And for free. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> um, <laughs> By this point, everybody has said everything that I could have possibly said, so... Did you have a first meeting where you sort of set up an agenda? Or a let's go together, or let's not go together? We've all been split up into uh, the Ethan group or the Joel group. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> we're not allowed to talk about who's in what group, but after a while you'll all probably start to understand who's in what group. And that was purely based on personality, and we had no choice. We were allowed to give one prize, which we're allowed to make up what the prize is. And uh, Sienna Miller asked that the prize be presented to her, <laughs> since it was up for grabs. And Guillermo, Guillermo became very upset because he said, if Sienna gets a prize, Guillermo should get a prize. We're seeing movies now through Netflix, the internet. Uh, what do you get from seeing it on the big screen still that, you know, and how do you feel about these new, new ways of seeing movies? Uh, you mean, how do we feel about people watching Lawrence of Arabia on their iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's something special about sitting in a cinema with a big crowd of people and watching a movie on a, you know, 80-foot screen. I, there's just no, nothing can compete with that, and that's something that film festivals like this keep alive. Morgen aandacht voor de openingsfilm van het festival. Het kleine sociale drama La Tête Oud. En voor het actiespectakel Mad Max Fury Road. Want ook dat is kant, waar net zo goed plaats is voor een mini als voor een megaproductie. Dus à bientôt, tot morgen. Sana,